Yo, welcome to my video on how to start a business as a teenager. In this video, I'm going to be outlining the five steps that you're going to need in order to start a business. These are the same five steps that I used to start my own business as a teenager, and I'm handing them over to you to make it quicker, more efficient, and a whole lot easier for you to start a business as a teenager. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Um, I'm actually bringing out a new series on becoming an entrepreneur as a teenager and this is the first one in that, those series. So if you enjoy these tips, please subscribe and it would be really helpful for me um, if you give it a like as well. Cheers. So step number one is brainstorming your idea. Um, I want you to keep in mind for this step that you can carry on uh, a couple ideas forward. So don't worry if you're deciding between two of your amazing ideas. You can take them both forward and test them out. Now, there are three key pointers to consider when you're brainstorming your idea. Number one is that your idea has got to be something that you're really going to enjoy. Chances are you're going to be spending a lot of time on your business, so it's got to be something that you're going to enjoy doing. Otherwise, you won't spend any time on it. And the second is make sure you're able to afford the setup costs. If you can't afford setting it up, you can't do it. That's simple as that. And number three is make sure you're able to monetize this idea. Now all monetize means is you're able to turn the idea and um, the elements of it into cash for yourself. You're able to make money off it. So step number two is validation. Um, before you go and spend any significant amount of time on an idea, you've got to make sure it's validated. And validation just means that you can make money out of it. And you validate an idea through literally just doing that. I find the best way to approach validation is through using a three-step process, which involves creating a MVP, or a minimum viable product. Um, so that is basically just the um, minimum level of product you could create and so it's in theory a prototype of your product um, in order to sell it. Step number two is getting your first sale, acquiring a sale. Um, now you can use a lot of different channels, a lot of different methods to getting your first sale and obviously it will depend on what you're selling uh, as to how you're going to sell it. but I like to try and use pre-existing marketplaces, places like Amazon, Etsy, Fiverr, um, in order to just get this first sale, in order to validate your product. And the third point is quick sale or quick fail. If you spend hours and hours trying to get that first sale and you think, wow, in order to do this again, I'm going to have to spend so much time just to get five pounds. I might as well just get a job. Uh, ASDA, um, then it's most likely that your idea is a fail. But if you think, well, I can work on this and I can find some methods to improve the amount of money I'm getting, to improve the, my efficiency, then put it down as a sale and move the idea forward. I can't emphasize enough how you shouldn't spend too much time in this validation process. You should easily be able to tell after a week um, if your idea has got legs or not. Now you've got your validated idea, um, you're ready to move on to step number three, which is a teen lean business plan. This is a business plan that I've created as an adaptation of the lean business model. Now I've got a definition here that I haven't quite memorized yet, but basically a lean business model is a business strategy that strives to eliminate waste in product and processes whilst satisfying customer wants. So basically this is a plan to move forward with the quickest, easiest, simplest way of getting a product and getting a business up there without having unnecessary processes. I like to think of this as less of a business plan and more of an organisation strategy. Um, when you're coming up with a business, when you've been brainstorming and validating, um, 
often you don't end up writing your thoughts and you don't end up organizing things, just putting it down onto some paper. So I've actually left a link to a Google Docs template in the description below that you can check out um, and just jot down your ideas on the various questions that I have for the sections in this business plan. I find it easiest if you go through with a set order um, starting from the problem, uh, the problem that you're going to be solving, followed by your solution and then the target customer that you're aiming at. You want to get this target customer right down to every detail, their age, their interests, um, where they're likely from, what they do on a daily basis, what their job is. Um, I've, I've got details of that in the business plan in the description below, um, so don't worry about thinking up all of those. After that, you need to consider your costs and pricing, followed by your branding, business personality, uh, promotion channels, the sale and acquisition journey, that one's very important to consider. Um, and you also need to decide how you're going to measure and analyse this, um, followed by monetization. So by this point you've got a solid, organised plan of where to go with your business. But what do you do now? So step number four is build an action plan. So an action plan is my way of organising what you're going to do for your business on a daily and also on a weekly basis. How it's going to fit in with your uh, current, with the current things that you're getting onto in life, whether you've got school, whether you've got uni or a job. Um, and it's important to find a slot in your life where you're going to give yourself the time to work on your business. Now an action plan is so easy to make. Um, I can write down on a piece of paper, I'm going to get up every morning and go to the gym. But whether I actually do that or not, that's the hard bit. So make it as easy as possible for yourself and organise everything um, down to the last detail. Um, so that it's easy when you, when you wake up in the morning or when you're coming back from school. You know that you're coming home to work on your business and you've got set tasks for yourself to do. Another thing that's great to have alongside your action plan is set rewards. Um, if you make £100 in your first week of your business, then how about you can get yourself a nice pair of shoes or you can get that new camera or that mic for your YouTube channel. Whatever it is, uh, set yourself a nice reward and only give it to yourself if you actually make your target, obviously. Um, but it's a great way of encouraging yourself, motivating yourself um, in order to do more. So now, my final point. You've written your business plan and your action plan and you know where you want to get your business to and you know how you're going to do it. Now, unfortunately, as teenagers in business, it's often hard to be taken seriously. Um, be that by our friends or adults we're trying to do business with. So that's why it's so important to skill yourself up. Getting yourself to a level where you can undertake a intelligent and um, general conversation around your business industry or your business's niche. It's important to do this so that people when you're trying to do business with them see you as an expert and take you seriously and are willing to give you money over that. So nowadays it's so easy to get information. All you have to do is type it into Google or YouTube and the information will be right there for you. Utilise this and abuse it for a good few days so that you've got at least a general knowledge around your subject. So all this being said, um, step number five is actually optional. Um, a lot of people say you don't learn until you launch. Uh, I definitely learn a lot after I launched my first business and I'm still learning now from it. Holding off and stop slowing down that launch process it might actually hinder your learning, so 
a quick launch is a good launch. I actually read this book around the time of launching my first business called The Seven Day Startup and it's all about how you should be able to launch your business and be earning money within seven days. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, make sure to use all the resources that are in the description below. Um, give it a like if this has helped you and please comment if you'd like me to do any other videos. Uh, if you've got any topics or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Uh, comment on any of my videos and I'll, I'll make sure to pick them up. And also subscribe if you want more content uh, surrounding being a teenage entrepreneur. And I've got one final point. Just go do it. Start now, you'll start learning and you'll pick up as you go along.